Shalom, shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother Ayakani. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Barakatha. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who grew well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say shalom, okay? And today's lesson is just going to be on, you know, Making sure you're using your time wisely, man. All right? And not to be too caught up in the distractions and in Babylon. Okay? Into this wicked world, man. Okay? Because um, best believe Satan can get at you multiple ways, man. All right? One of those ways that Satan can get at you is by distracting you. Okay? Throwing you different diversions to then make you not really on your toes. Not really being a spirit. Not really thinking about, you know, being harmful as a dove, wise as a serpent. You know, he can do many things, man. He can throw a, 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 it can be a lady, it can be video games. You know, it can even be a job, chasing money, chasing a dream, chasing your dream in this world. You know, getting too caught up into this world, man. All right, that can separate you from, you know, your consistency in the spirit, your consistency in this truth. And, you know, we all sometimes fall victim to that, you know, myself included, you know. Um, but, you know, a wise man is going to get back on track. You know, the, the, the number one thing is, is just to, just to be notified about it. You know, understand that you may be spending too much time in a video, spending too much time at work, you know, focusing too much on the, on, on the temporary things and kind of neglecting the, the everlasting. You know, like I said, we all, we all have begun, maybe, you know, been a victim and, you know, we all fall short of the glory, you know. But um, just to be aware of those things, man, just to understand that Satan will throw distractions at you because he doesn't ultimately want you in the spirit, you know? When you're in the spirit, you're lively, you know, you're awakened, you know? So I'm gonna just pull out a, free, a, a few scriptures to, you know, to encourage, to inspire brothers, you know? Uh, Baruch 428. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. You know, we all been astray from the Lord, man. You know, uh, all of us have, man, before we received this truth. All right, this blessing and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, we always uh, turn astray, man. All right, so now it's all up to us to come back. Come back to the fold, man. All right, and stay in the fold. Okay? Uh, and by doing that is, you know, daily readings, you know, staying in the truth. You know, being around like-minded brothers, you know, watching videos, you know, jotting down notes, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, get away from the social media, man. Uh, get away from waking up every day, every morning and just turning to your phone, man. Because best believe when you first wake up, what you do is what you serve, man. And a lot of people, before they even pray, they wake up to their phone, man. They checking their notifications. They checking Instagram. They checking Facebook. They checking Twitter. They checking their messages. Before they even pray and give thanks to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for waking them up, man. Okay? 2 Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the, ra the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. And diligent, man, just it just means to keep going. You know? It's just to say, he that endure to the end shall be saved. You got to endure, man. We got to keep enduring the bullshit that happens in America. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in a circus, man. You know, because we're in one big circus, America. All right, and it's easy to get caught up in it, man, when you don't have your eyes on the prize, when you're not focused on the goal. All right? So, brothers, just got to, you know, focus, man. Focus up, man, because it's truth, man. You don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out and be so close to salvation and be so close to receiving uh, the spiritual powers and to be of that number of the elect and then to miss out just because, you know, we're in the end and it didn't come the time you wanted it to come or you think it's, you know, farther away than what it is and you, you end up slacking off and becoming, you know, a sluggard and, you know, have that slothful spirit and, you know, you the Lord ended up shifting you out, man, because that's what happens. That is what happens, man. We in this for the long haul and not the short haul, okay? Just like that that book with the turtle and the hare, turtle and the rabbit, you know? Hey, that turtle, was he, he was consistent. He never stopped, never got completion. 
Whereas in the hair, you know, he was so far ahead, he kind of rested. Would rest here and there. And then he rested so much, he ended up falling asleep, and the turtle passed him to the finish line. Okay, so, hey, if that's not a good example of this truth, man, I don't know what is. You know, you'd rather be like a turtle than the hare, where the turtle, although he was moving slow, he kept moving. You know? Hey, the hare, he was moving super fast, so fast that, you know, he, he thought he was so far ahead that he stopped. You know, and ended up getting passed by the turtle, man. Okay? Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And we're going to reap all the benefits that we deserve, man. Okay? And if you're doing this truth, you're out in the highways and byways, you're posting videos, you, you know, you're feeding a flock, you're feeding the sheep. I know you're, you're doing everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaz requires of you to the best of your ability. Hey, you're going to reap those benefits, man. And those benefits can't even be explained, man. They can't even be put into the words, uh, the, the, the things that we're going to be given by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It far outweighs the captivity and the negative and the things we're going through and the trials and tribulations upon this earth, man. It far outweighs that. And you got to be able to have that mindset, that vision to be able to see that, man. That should be a push you to be able to keep going, man. Okay? Don't get caught up. There's so many distractions to get caught up in America, man. You have social media. You got clubs. You got these vlogs and YouTube and video games. And, you know, there's so much to be deceived by and caught up into, man. All right? You got, you know, the, the sports entertainments, man. You got video shows entertainment, man. You got reality shows. You got... So much new stuff coming out, man, damn near every day, every week, every month, every year to just distract you from the truth, okay? And a lot of people are being caught up into it, man. That's why a lot of people are going to be caught off off guard when Yahweh Shai comes by. So I says he, come, he comes back uh, like a thief in the night. And a lot of people are going to be just surprised. When a thief comes into your home, you're surprised. You didn't know he was coming. You know, you, 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 was, you was unexpected of it. Okay, just like a lot of these people are going to be unexpecting of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's return. Why? Because they weren't paying attention to the signs of the times. Okay, they weren't paying attention to the watchman that was warning them. Okay, uh, one Peter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Be sober. And that's twofold. That's not talking about, I mean, it's, it is talking about, you know, being sober and not being drunk all the time, and you know, high all the time or, you know, whatever. But it's also talking about, you know, being aware, understanding what times we're in, understanding what's happening around the world, you know, understanding and, and being knowledgeable about what's going on around you and in the world, man. Okay. So you're not fooled. Okay. It says your devil walk around like a warring lion seeking who he may devour. Okay. That's Esau, man. Esau's trying to have you slip up so he can capitalize off that, okay? You have to know that. You have to be aware of that. You have to be better. We have to do better. We have to be better, okay? Because when we stay in the spirit, all right, when we're, when we're doing these things, all right, that pisses Esau off, man, okay? Esau doesn't want us to know this truth. That's, that's why he went to these lengthy measures to hide the truth, to deceive us from the truth, man. He doesn't want us to know. This is our salvation, man. This is our power. He doesn't want us to be close to our power. Okay? So he told lies. Okay? He tried to deceive us. But you can't deceive the very elect. Okay? So brothers just got to make sure they're doing uh, the things they need to do to keep them in the spirit. Okay? So with that, until next time, man, I just want to say Shalom. And now I want to give double honor. I want to give uh, all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Barakata. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. All right, Salakia. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well. And uh, salutation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are doing this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To USA, Shalom, Akiyam.